Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will learn what is shear force and bending moment. The concept of shear force and bending moment we will learn in this video. So what is shear force actually? Look, here we have a beam. It is a simply supported beam. It has pen support here and a roller support here. If I apply a force F here at this point to this beam, let's say this is force F. So what will happen to this beam actually? First of all, we know that there will be two reaction forces here. Let's say this is point A. So AY we will have here and AX we will have here. And we will have a reaction force. Let's say this is point B. So we will have BY here. We know this from the previous videos. We have covered all these things that when we apply a force to the beam, these reaction forces are coming at the support. Now the question here is, if I have this force here, what is happening, let's say, to the beam at any cross section? Let's say we are taking this cross section here. So to this region, what is happening to the beam? Right? So what I have here, I have a force acting on the beam from the top. And as a result, I have reaction forces like AY is acting upward, BY acting upward, and when we have AX, if, but here we don't have in the X direction any force. Now, if you clearly look into this section, we have two forces which are mainly concerned, this section is concerned with those forces, like the AY acting upward and F acting downward. Now, what will be the effect of these two forces on the section? It should be like this. Look, if we have the beam, so we're, here we have AY and here we have the force F. So, this section must be like this, right? Because this force is trying to move this part of the beam downward and this force is trying to move this part of the beam upward. Right? It should be like this. But usually, we don't see this type of thing. If I have a beam, let's say, let's say this is a beam, right? Here we have the support. And if I apply force here, right here we have another support. So usually we don't see that this part is going up and this part is going down. We don't see this thing. Until and unless we apply too much force, so we break it. That is different thing. But if I apply less force, let's say, so I don't see that this part of the beam is going up and this part of the beam is going down. Why we don't see this type of uh, effect due to force? We don't see this type of effect because there are internal forces in the material of the beam. When I try to apply a force on the beam, there is a reaction force. So in the middle, internal forces develop in the material of the beam, which try to balance the beam at its uh, position, which try to resist this type of effect. So those internal forces in the material of the beam are known as shear force. And we measure the shear forces in any cross section. It could be here, right? The shear forces could be here, could be here, anywhere. In any cross section of the beam, we measure the shear forces by summing all forces acting on the beam on one side of that cross section. One side of that cross section, if we want to measure here, let's say at this cross section, so all forces, let's say, acting on the left side of this, this section, we just sum those forces. And it will give us the shear forces at this point. But keep it in mind that shear forces are the forces which resist the beam to break, which resists the beam to have this type of effect due to the applied force. 
and the, the forces are coming from where? Coming from the material of the beam and these are internal forces. So this is the concept of shear force. How we calculate the shear force? We will solve problem in the coming video. But I will just tell you at any cross section of the beam, we measure the shear forces by summing all the forces on either side of that section. And when we solve these types of problem, so what we do, if we have a beam and it is having this type of effect, let's suppose we have one side of the beam, right? This is, let's say, one side and here the reaction force is acting. Let's say this part is going up and here this side is going down. If we have this type of effect, right? Or we have a shear, this type of shear, like on the left side it is going up and on the right side it is going down. So this type of shear force is known as positive shear. So this will be positive shear. This is again sign convention, you can take the other way around. But if this is positive, then the other side, let's say if we have the left side is going down and the right side is going up, right? If this side is going down and this side is going up, this will be negative shear. Just for sign convention, we use these two sign convention. If one side is going, let's say, up, the other is going down, if we consider this one positive, then the it is vice versa. The other uh, we will consider negative shear. But usually we use this sign convention like this is positive shear and this is negative shear. So this is the concept of shear force. Okay, so this is the, the, the shear force thing. Now here, if I apply this force, let's say here to this B, right? We have another effect of imbalance, this imbalance, when we apply the force, this shear is one imbalance effect. We have another imbalance effect, which is known as uh, bending moment. But what will happen if I apply this force here, the force F to this beam. This beam will bend and it might be like this. Look, after some time I can see bending like here in the beam, if I apply the force here to the beam. So this beam will bend. Now this bending tendency of the beam, how we measure it? We measure this bending tendency of the beam by sum of all the moment produced by external forces on either side of that section. By that section I mean if we want to measure let's say the bending here at this point or at this cross section, if I want to measure the bending. What I will do on either side, let's say on the left side, I will take all moment produced by the forces on this side. On this side, let's say I have AY, I have any other force, let's say F1 or F2 here. So this force will produce moment, this force will also have moment. So all moment I will add on either side of the section and that will give me the bending moment. So once we add all the moment on either side of that section will give me bending moment at this section. If I want to find the bending moment at this point, I have to add all the forces, the moment produced by the forces on either side of this section. So this way we can find the bending moment. Right? And similar, we have a sign convention for the bending moment. If we have a bending in this way, like if we have a beam and, and this is, let's say this is the cross section. So the top of the beam is concave, right? It is concave and the bottom of the beam is convex, right? If I have this beam, and the, the, the bending moment is like this. The bottom goes down, right? And the, 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 the top is bending like this. So the bottom is convex and the top is concave. This is known as positive bending. So this will be 
positive bending and if it is the other way around like if it is like this the force is acting from the bottom let's say so this side is convex and this side is concave the bottom is concave then that will be negative bond bending if it is like this right so this we can we take it negative bending and this side we take it positive bending this is again sign convention you can take the other way around but we usually in most of the books we use like this this is positive and this is negative bending so these two things the shear force and bending moments are the effect on the beam due to the applied force right so i will just summarize once we apply the force here to the beam we might see this type of effect but we usually don't see this who balance this thing internal forces in the beam develops and those forces balance the thing in a straight line and how we find that by summing all the forces on either side let's say the left side of the that section let's suppose here we want to find the shear force all forces on either side of this uh, on this side of the section and we add those forces if it is acting upward plus downward negative just we add and it will give us shear force at this section if we want to find it some other section all forces on the left side of that section similarly we have another effect if we apply the force the beam might bend and we uh, call it the bending effect and that bending tendency how we calculate it we take sum of all the moment due to external forces on either side of that section and those uh, sum the summation of those moments gave us the bending moment on the beam so this is how the concept of shear force and bending moment is we will solve problem we will draw the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram in the coming video